Hello and welcome back to another part of Design Your Own Level Tutorial. In this tutorial, what we will be doing is separating our legs material from the base material, and then we'll be importing that into Unreal Engine 4. So in order for us to do that, we just need to make sure that our couch base is selected, and, and then we're going to hit tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to select um, each one of the legs by just going into the vertex select option, holding shift and right clicking. And then you push control L so it will select everything that is linked. So just uh, keep in mind if you did actually extrude these directly from the couch, then it is going to select everything. So um, that is why I kept them as a separate or uh, separate legs or separate pieces. Then what we are going to do is we are just going to go into the material option. We're going to click the plus, click new. We're going to give this a name. We will call this the couch side legs. And we're going to click assign. And then we're going to do the same with the top. Hit control L for everything that is linked. Plus new, call this the CS couch side base and click assign and then we're just quickly going to do it for this one as well so uh, plus new um, cb base assign oh. sorry i was just supposed to select those so that is why you don't select then all the legs and everything so let's just click assign again and then select the legs plus new CB legs and click assign. Then what we're going to do is we just want to make sure that our models will be, um, will import appropriately with the right pivot points inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now, if you did watch one of my other videos, you'll know that Unreal Engine 4 or Blender itself will import and export the world as the center point. So the center of the world is the center point of your model. So if I export this as it is now, then that point over there will be the center point of my model, which is not exactly what I want. So in order just to see where it is um, properly under these lines, you can hit Shift B and then it will center your 3D cursor to the world. Then I am going to move these to different layers. So I will hit M and just move them to like two different layers at the end. So you can see there they are. Then just quickly, I'm going to drag this to over there so that its corner kind of meets up with the center of the world. And you notice that it's um, 3D cursor origin set over there. You can center that by just here on the left under your tools, go to set 3D cursor uh, to center of mass and then it will center it there but that does not affect your 3d cursor or your pivot point inside of unreal engine 4 that pivot point will be that point over there so let's just do it with this one as well move it to over there and then we're going to hit file and export now you will notice that I did do this before on a different occasion when we were doing our testing phase, but we set up materials for this, so this will be slightly different. So this is the side couch that I have selected here. So I'm just going to override it there, the couch side model, selected objects only, go to geometries, and we're going to set the smoothing to edge, and then armatures, just disable the leaf bone option and click export. And then jump over to the other one and do exactly the same thing. And we're just going to overwrite that one over there. And select it, geometries, edge, and armature, leaf bone. So there we go, click export. We're going to jump over to Unreal Engine 4. We're going to click import. And there's that one and that one that we want. And click open. And we're going to import them both. And then you'll see. Uh, there they are. Let's open both of them just so you can see. And the nice thing about this is they do have two separate materials. So what we want to do next is then just import our normal maps. I'm going to click open. Okay, so these aren't materials, but they are material slots that we enabled for them. You can actually, when you enable your normal map inside of uh, Blender itself, it will create a material, but I didn't want to 
I want to do the whole process inside of Unreal Engine 4. So what we're going to do from here is just import one more thing. And what I actually want to do is maybe give it an appropriate name. So let's just quickly, I'm just quickly going to jump over to my downloads tab here. And then the texture that I chose for from CG textures or textures.com. I'll put a link to the description below. So I'm just going to paste it here. And I'm just going to call this the couch fabric. There we go. So then we can go over to Unreal Engine 4 and then just import that texture. Now, do bear in mind, as I mentioned in one of the other videos, that this is a perfectly tile texture. And the only reason why it works is because inside of Unreal Engine 4, we set our UV maps up to be in a very square way. So they'll line up fairly well inside um, or on our model itself. So now what we're going to do is just go to new and we're going to create a material. We'll call this the CV, CV mat. And then we're going to open it, we're going to import the couch fabric and the normal map. We'll hook up the normal map. And then we're going to hook up the couch to the color. And if we hit apply and we go into the model itself and we assign by selecting the material here, we assign it to the first one. You'll see that that's what it looks like. That it is a little bit large. So uh, what you want to do is I'm going to change this by going to texture coordinates. There we go. And hook that up to your UVs. And we're going to change this to 12 by 12. I think that should be small enough. And we'll just see what it looks like. And that looks pretty good. So I am happy with that. So that is the base essentially done. Um, we don't really need to do anything else here. We can fool around with the roughness map uh, by just giving it a value. So the value that I want to give it is we want to give it a constant value. And we're just going to hook that up into the roughness as zero. I believe zero is the amount that I need. It's either zero or no, I think it's actually one, the metallic value that we normally want to zero, but I think that's set to zero by default. So it, it will prevent any like reflector value. And if you do want reflector value on side of, of or on your couch itself, it's, it is a slightly different material setup. So for this, I believe that is okay. If we just look at it. It shouldn't have like any real shine or anything to it because this is a material couch. So uh, this particular material is done. We can save it. And then we can just going to right click and make a new material. And actually, let's give it a name first. I will call this the CB mat legs. And here we are just basically going to assign uh, different color values to it. So what I want to do is I want to create something that's kind of like on the line of silver. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to type in parameter and assign a vector parameter. And then I'm going to give it values over there. So just click on your color. I'm going to set the alpha to one. And then I think the values for um, what you can use as a chart is you can go to the Unreal Engine 4 documents and you can actually look up their physically based material charts as it is here. And then you could just like assign a value. So uh, we can go for something along the lines of silver or chromium. Well, let's, let's try something. So let's go to color values, 0 0.55, come on, 0 0.55. 
and that's it it's somewhere over there and we can just click OK we can feed that into our base color and then we're going to do a constant value and feed that into the metallic and we can set that to 1 so that it is metal and that actually looks pretty good already and then I think we could just do for the roughness another constant which we can feed into there and we might want to set that to something like 0 0.8 let's just see what that looks like I mean, we want a slight reflection on it so 0 0.6 or 0 0.5 I think there we go, 0 0.5 is what I want. I click apply and then we could just open our model and select the material for the legs and then just assign it to the bottom one over here. Uh, that looks slightly overkill if you look at the, the color of the couch. So we might actually want this to be slightly darker. So let's try and do that. I click apply. It looks okay. Uh, we can maybe give it a slight bit more of a reflective value. And then that should be... There we go. And that looks a lot better. So you can play around with these settings. And essentially, that is our couch. On that, With those materials done, we're just going to click Save. And what you can do now is you can go into your corner couch and you can actually just, what I'll do is I'll rename this to just call it uh, couch mat legs. So it's a little bit easier because essentially we can assign, oh, I don't want that one assigned, but I want the legs assigned to it. And then we can just make a new material. Uh, we'll call this the couch side mat. I'm going to open that and then drag in its normal map and drag in that. We're going to give it texture coordinates of 12 by 12 again. Feed the normal map in there. We're going to click apply and then we're just going to have it use uh, that material I think it was that one or side actually what BS it should be CS so let me just quickly rename that CS there we go so now essentially that is our couch is done. I just need to add a constant value for the roughness just to make sure that that is going to be one. I click apply. And then we can close everything off and let us quickly see what that looks like. We can just drag our models into the world. And there we go. And also, you can see that the pivot points are at the right locations. But there is a slight problem over here, as you can see, that our normal map is not displaying correctly. Now, in order for us to fix that, I'll quickly show you, you would just have to open your normal map. So let's just open both of them quickly. And then, because these are OpenGL normal maps, they are baked differently than your DirectX normal maps. Um, the geometry is calculated differently. So you just click under your search bar here, flip, and it's flip green channel. And once you click that, you'll see that some of the co um, color lighting is correct over here. And then on this side, the same thing. And you'll see that that has been corrected. And we can click save. And there we are. So then just one more thing with our legs. Our legs are pitch black. Now, in order for us to fix those, we need a reflection volume here on the left. So you can just drag in a sphere reflection volume. And there we go. Although they do seem a little bit too bright. So I'm just going to quickly open um, the material. And OK, for some reason, it's the values are set to one. So. I'm just going to double check this. I think I set my values to roughly 0 0.5, I think it was. 
Uh, we can click OK, click Apply, and then we can just see what that looks like. We kind of want something that matches the color of the couch so that it's not too distracting. And there we go. So that is our material over there done. Now we can put this reflection volume pretty much anywhere that we want because we're never really going to see the reflections of these legs at all. They are just actually there to like give you the sense that it is a, a metallic couch. And what we're going to do now is we just want to do the placing correctly. So I want to select the side couch. I'm going to drag it off. And then I'm going to set its Y scale to negative 1. And you'll see there. There we go. And then I'm just going to select the two sides and then drag them off as well. I'm going to rotate them. And then just slap them together. In order for you to change your widget, if you don't know, if you select an object and you push spacebar, it changes you through the different widgets. Uh, the one, this one's for scaling, that is for moving, and that is for rotation. So I just move it all the way back here. Um, in the level, the couch was a different location, but let's move it to somewhere over there, and this one to roughly about here. And we can set up like a random one against the wall now, now but uh, one thing that is a little bit strange of Unreal, the, the, the sizes are still a little bit mixed up. What I'll show you is if you quickly hit play, these couches are a meter long, but they look tiny. They really look small. Now, I have a couch myself in my house and I took a measurement and that couch is on the side here. That's about 80 centimeters long and it looks much larger than what this one does inside of Unreal Engine 4. So you can fix your scaling inside of um, uh, Blender but I would like to keep everything uniform inside of Blender and then we can change it inside of Unreal Engine 4. So what we're going to do to make sure that these sizes are correct we'll just select each one of our couches and then what we'll do is Hit spacebar, let's just zoom out, there we go. And we're going to scale this. You'll see on the right to change it to 1.25. So if we hit play again, we can quickly have a look. And you can see that looks a lot better. The, the scaling and the size looks um, definitely correct. So we are going to use that scale for now. Uh, but as I said, you can change that inside of Blender itself, but I feel that uh, doing everything inside of Blender, making sure that it's correct to the Blender scale, and then you can always just upscale everything inside of Unreal Engine 4. So this, uh, with that said, that brings us to the end of part of this tutorial. We are going to be creating another one of the objects in the next tutorial. Uh, we'll go through our list, just quickly see which one is another large object which might be difficult, and then we are going to continue with that. So if you like what you saw, leave a like, you can leave a dislike, a comment, and please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.